All right, now that we're all cleaned up, let's get started here. First thing I'm going to do is I am going to be putting the uh, piston rings on the... Yeah, I'm going to be checking the piston rings, making sure that they fit. So give me a second, let me get set up, and I'll show you what I'm going to do. So here's the rings that we got. Yeah. Top ring. This is your second ring. You got the third ring. And the oil ring. So. Third oil ring. This comes with 16. And because these are at the bottom. And they're going to be... They're going to be sandwiched in between this oil ring here. The three oil ring. This is going to go like... With this, this, and then this. It's going to be sandwiched in there like that. Then it'll be your second ring. Pretty much is what it's gonna do is is you're gonna sandwich and go in there the bottom second ring it's gonna go in the middle or second groove and then this top ring this top ring it's gonna go in the top groove here. So that's how those go. Alright, so what you need to do now is you need to make sure these cylinders are super clean. I like to clean them with some WD-40 and a paper towel.
All right, so the next thing we need to do on this thing is we got to set this number one cylinder here, the top dead center, because we're going to be installing the camshaft. So I got this all set. Top dead center is just the highest spot that the piston is at. And then you want it dead center. There's a little bit of play. I don't have a degree wheel, wheel to get all that into play. I'll just mess with my timing and make sure, or I'll set it with that. But you just want to get it really close. So this isn't going to be a performance engine, so I don't need it that exact. But give me a sec here to get all set up and I'll show you putting in the cam. Alright, so I got the camshaft here. I'm just gonna putting it in. You wanna take some assembly lube and put it on your bearings. I'm not sure if this is picking up. Okay, I got you a little bit better view here. Let me turn the light on. Oh yeah, that's a lot better. All right, so I'm gonna take this off because we have this stop plate now that holds the camshaft in. Stop plate here. And take some red Loctite. Put it on these. These are about 20 ish foot pounds.
or just snug is what I'm doing. I want it too tight. That lock tight is gonna lock that in. And this moves in, and it's got a little bit of play. A little too much play. So what I'm gonna have to do on the back of that, I'm gonna have to actually tap the uh, the plug, the coolant freeze plug in, and that'll tighten that up. But there we go. All right, so the next thing we need to do is we need to get the sprocket off of this old crankshaft. So what you're gonna need for that is a three jaw puller. It's gonna go in the nose. It's gonna go over here, here, and here. I'm gonna turn this in. Now if I were doing this on a on a crankshaft that I was gonna keep or something, I would definitely not just jam this into the end of it. I'd put something on the end so it doesn't so it doesn't hurt the threads in here. But since I don't care, I'm just gonna crank on it. Best way to get this thing off is gonna be to let's dot the big guns here. That's how you take it off. So now that that's off, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get this uh, this lined up. Now, this has multiple degrees on it. Not sure if it's picking it up. Anyway, there's a zero mark on here. And that's the mark that I need this to go on because I'm going to be at zero degrees. When this is all installed and lined up. Best way to install this to get it started. It's on to a certain spot. Make yourself a 36 millimeter socket, which you do ball joints with. Persuade it on until the sound changes. Then you're done. That's how you install this. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get this timing chain installed. I'll show you how that's done. Take those out. This timing chain, and you're going to see a dent right there. On this gear down here, there's going to be a circle. This dent in that circle which is right here, need to be pointing towards each other. So, best thing to do is put your chain on. Now, actually, before you put your chain on, is put it on here. Like that. Get it lined up. Put one screw in it. Not tight. Just right finger tight. Spin this round and position it so that timing mark is pointing towards the timing mark which is right here. So it's straight up and down. So we know that. So this pin, this alignment pin, is in the correct position. Now we can go ahead and put the timing chain on. Over this, I'll slowly turn all this. So everything lines up.
like this. Teeth are pointing exactly at each other. So we can go ahead and put a screw in. Not tight, just start it. And then we can go ahead and put the others in. As well. With these right here, you're also going to want to lock tight them as well. Little dabble do ya. These screws are torqued down to 20 foot pounds. There we go. Well, I thought I was filming, but I wasn't. But I sort of put the. I put my. RTV on the timing cover and I scraped the old gasket off and I put a new one on and I started screwing this in. So that's where I'm at now is just putting this on right now. This seal is brand new. I'm not going to have footage of putting that in. But this is where we're at.
All right, so the next thing I'm gonna be installing is the oil pump here. It's pretty straightforward. Just goes down. Torque spec on this is, I think, 65 foot pounds. I'm gonna double check. I'll be right back. Okay, so I was right. With the torque spec on this. Sixty foot pounds? I don't know what it said. Sixty, sixty-five, somewhere around there. What I saw online said sixty, so we are good there. Next thing we need to do is we are going to have to get the uh the seal, the, the rear main seal on. So uh, give me a second, I'm gonna get that set up. All right, so I had a problem with that rear main seal. I couldn't get it on because I didn't have enough room. All right, so hopefully you can see this all right. That's the main seal, the rear main. This is gonna go in here. 
just like that. Yeah, that was, that was backward. It's going to go on like this. Alright, well, I got it in. That was a pain, to say the least. Holy crap, that sucked. So now, I'm going to put these in. Get them tightened down. Well, here's what happened with my uh, my phone died, so I could no longer record. So, pretty much, as what ended up, ended up happening was I got the uh, that rear main seal back on, and I didn't realize my phone died. But then I got the uh, oil pan on and everything, so I did miss that footage. But when I pick it back up, probably next weekend, I'll have more footage of exactly what's going on. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye. 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 The girls say hi.